Today, I'm sharing my top 20 best software, both free and paid, I can't live without. These are not just random picks. These are my daily drivers, my productivity lifeline, and tools I believe everyone should at least try. If you want to get more done, then keep watching. I will provide the links for all the software in the description below, so make sure to check it out. Starting with Foxit PDF Reader. Reading PDFs doesn't have to feel clunky. Foxit is lightweight, fast, and doesn't hog your system resources. It's perfect for viewing large files without the Adobe bloat. It's been my default PDF reader for over a decade, and I have zero regrets. Give it a try. The good news? It's free. If I need to edit those PDFs, there hasn't been a better software than Wondershare PDF Element for that. Think of it as the Photoshop of PDFs. It's lightweight, user-friendly, and works like a charm. There are times when I need to reorganize my PDF pages, extract, or add pages to it, or merge documents, edit the text, convert into different formats, you name it. It has my back anytime. The only caveat? It's a paid software. How about some graphic design work? Well, when it comes to that, you can't go wrong with Canva. It's ridiculously easy to use. Whether it's a design work, thumbnails, social media posts, all Canva. With its drag and drop simplicity and tons of templates, you don't need to be a designer to create something stunning. It packs a ton of AI features as well. You can use it for free, and it has paid plans as well. In my opinion, it's 100% worth paying for. When it comes to my gateway to internet, I have my two personal favorites. My go-to is Opera Browser. It's fast, secure, and comes with a built-in VPN and ad blocker. Opera helps me stay focused online without distractions. Its user interface is gorgeous and neat. I also love the sidebar integrations, Messenger, WhatsApp, and yes, the AI features it brings are awesome. And you guessed it right, it's free. My second most favorite browser is Mozilla Firefox. When privacy matters, I switch to Firefox. It's fast and supports great extensions. It's also lightweight and usually less RAM hungry than Chrome. I love the built-in feature of taking a full web page screenshot in Firefox. It's free and open source. If you're interested in exploring more browser options, I have a video to help you out with that. Link in the description below. We can't rule out AI in this day and age, can we? When it comes to my choice of AI, it shouldn't come as a surprise. It's ChatGPT. I use it every day for brainstorming, writing help, coding solutions, even video ideas like this one. It's like having a genius co-pilot who's always available, lending a helping hand. Its free plan is good for most of us, but it also has paid plans and they're not cheap. You won't be disappointed with its free offering though. It's just enough. What about those files and important documents? No worries, it's time we talk about the favorite cloud storage of my choice, Microsoft OneDrive. My cloud safety net. OneDrive backs up my files automatically and lets me synchronize them across devices. Integration with Microsoft Office makes collaboration seamless. I've never lost a single file in over a decade, even if my computer crashes or burns down. All thanks to cloud storage. Price? It offers 5 gigabytes free cloud storage, and then there are paid plans. Best deal? Opt for Microsoft Office 365 subscription and you get one terabyte OneDrive cloud storage along with a full suite of best Office apps ever. Forget about the annoying pop-ups when your video player software tells you that it can't play certain videos and media files. VLC Media Player is there to take care of it. It plays everything. From obscure file formats to streaming content, VLC is simple, clean, and gets the job done without needing extra codecs. It's free and open source. Working with audio, meet Audacity. Audio editing made easy and free. Whether I am cleaning up voiceovers or removing background noise or audio ducking, Audacity handles it like a champ. It's open source and incredibly powerful once you dive in. Don't let its simple interface fool you. It is the only audio tool you will ever need. How about some video editing? You can't go wrong with CapCut. Video editing on the fly? CapCut is fast becoming my favorite. It's intuitive and surprisingly powerful especially for quick content edits and social media clips. It also has pro features for pro-grade editing. The auto-caption feature? It's a game-changer. 
It's free to use with a paywall for some of its features, but the free option might be sufficient for you, depending on your needs. More and more free features are now behind a paywall, so use it and see for yourself. Want something more advanced for multicam editing without paying a fortune? Cyberlink Power Director 365 has got you covered. For more polished video editing, Power Director gives me control without the Adobe Learning Curve and greedy subscription. It has great templates, fast rendering, and cloud integration. I love it for YouTube projects. It also boasts a massive library of millions of stock assets. It's a paid software that won't break the bank. Its yearly subscription is just $59. When it comes to live streaming and screen recording, you can't beat OBS Studio. It's free and better than paid softwares. It may be a little difficult to set up, but once you get the hang of it, it's all downhill. If you've ever recorded a tutorial or streamed live, you've probably heard of OBS. I use it for screen recording, live streams, and even video capture. It's powerful, free, and super customizable. For more specific screen captures, use ShareX. It's the best screen capture tool I've ever used. Capture images, record your screens, annotate, and instantly upload. Perfect for tutorials and documentation. It's free and open source. For those who are tech savvy and productivity driven, there hasn't been a better tool than Microsoft Power Toys. It's free and open source. This suite of tools is like productivity steroids for Windows. Fancy Zones helps organize Windows, Power Rename saves me tons of time, and the Color Picker is great for design work. There is so much more to it. I have made a video on all of its best features, teaching you step by step how to get more out of your PC and make it work for you. Check out the link in the description. Let's not forget the simple things in life. Yes, I'm talking about Snipping Tool. Sometimes you just need a quick screenshot. The Snipping Tool is built into Windows and perfect for capturing what you need, fast, no frills, just function. You can also use it to record your screen now. How cool is that? Internet warriors, gather here, it's torrent time. Meet BitTorrent. It's when you need to share or download large files. BitTorrent is my reliable tool. Just use it responsibly and legally. It's great for open source and public domain content. It's time for the classics. We have Microsoft Word. Starting with the all-time classic, from drafting scripts like this to writing proposals and reports, it's clean, intuitive, and feature-rich. The smart editor and design tools make my documents look professional without much effort. It's worth paying for. Microsoft PowerPoint. Presentations, animations, video intros. PowerPoint isn't just for slides anymore. It's flexible and surprisingly creative once you explore all it can do. I use it for those infographic animations, and it shines. It's part of Office 365 subscription. Microsoft Excel. Spreadsheets, budgets, task lists. Excel is where numbers come alive. With formulas, pivot tables, and charts, it's more powerful than most people realize. It's paid, as you should know it by now. Visual Studio Code. My code editor of choice. Lightweight, fast, and packed with extensions. Whether it's web development, scripting, or editing markdown, VS Code handles it all like a pro, with so many useful extensions and whatnot. These 20 apps keep my work and life flowing. Whether it's writing, editing, designing, coding, or sharing, they each earn their spot in my daily toolkit. I'd love to hear what's one software you can't live without. Drop it in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.